Let's test out my rail. And let's press the button. Whee! Here we go! Hello, and welcome back to Learn English with Minecraft. My name is Kenzo, and this is English from the Ground Up. And today we're starting off underground in a mine shaft. I came down here to collect some more rails and also to collect some more gold that I can use to build powered rails because I want to build a railway up at my base. But I also found some other things down here like dripstone and dripstone blocks. I collected these to build something else in the future. I also found some iron, some diamonds. I killed a slime and collected some slime balls. I'm going to look for a little bit more gold and then I'll go back up to the surface and I have some other things to show you up at the surface. More dripstone. I'm going to collect this dripstone. Ooh, my diamond sword is almost broken. I'm going to need to build a new diamond sword when I get back up to the surface. Any gold? Oh, there's some gold. Okay, more gold. I'm going to use my fortune pickaxe to collect this gold. Gold. Oh, that's a spider. Die, die, die. Ooh, that spider scared me. Do I have any more torches? No, I do not. No more torches. Oh, diamonds! I missed these diamonds! Just one? Just one. Oh, there's some gold. Let's get it. Well, I've found enough gold now, but the problem is I'm lost. So now I need to find my staircase back up to the surface. Wow. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Awesome. I found it. All right, let's go back up to the surface. Hey, why is there gravel here? An enderman probably dropped this gravel block here. All right, back to my house. Ah, it's sunrise. The sun is coming up. It's beautiful. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is smelt this gold. I'll put it in the furnace. So now that's smelting. Now I'm going to build a new diamond sword because this one's almost broken. All right, two diamonds and a stick makes a diamond sword. I'm swimming over to the enchanting room to enchant my new diamond sword. All right, here we are. I still have 67 XP from killing the ender dragon. Okay, I'm going to use my sword, lapis, level 30 enchantment, just sharpness three. This one has sharpness four and knockback two. Disappointing. Disappointed! I should probably spend more of my XP. I don't want to die with 64 XP. I think I'm gonna enchant some books or something just to spend my XP so I'm not carrying so much. Okay, 16 ingots are done. So let's build some powered rails. Power, powered rails. Um, now I'm up to 21 powered rails. That's a good start. And I'm going to need some more redstone torches. Let's build like 30 redstone torches. There we go. All right, so the first thing that you're probably wondering is what is that huge tower over there? Well, that is a tall tower made of scaffolding. Scaffolding, those are scaffolding blocks. And at the very top, the top, there's a glass cube. I'll show you what that is. Let's go over there. My villager breeder. Look, now there's two villagers down here. Here we are. In the last video, 
I showed you that I started working on a creeper farm here. And I finished it. There's a little staircase right here. And on the left and right, I placed lanterns. And right here, well, this is a tower made of scaffolding. And the scaffolding is climbable. Watch, I'm climbing up the scaffolding. It takes a really long time to climb all the way to the top. The sun's going down. Oh, and here we are, the top of the tower. So this is where I would stand and leave Minecraft running while the creeper farm generates gunpowder. But let's go back down. Look at all of the torches I placed down there. I placed all of those torches so other kinds of monsters like endermen and skeletons don't spawn because I only want creepers to spawn here. All right. Do you hear the creeper burning? Okay, let's go to my staircase down right here. Let's go down the stairs. So these chests are where all of the gunpowder is left. Let's see if there's any more gunpowder in these chests. A little bit, 17 here and 25 here. This creeper farm took me a really long time to build. Probably like two hours. All right, back home, let's go to sleep. All right, it's daytime. Uh oh, go away. Get back! Oh, thank you, Knockback 2. I have something else to show you. It's right back here. Ta-da! Look, I built a huge map. I am currently right there. I'm that little green dot. That is my farm. My house is right here. There's the dock and the fishing hut. Over there is my barn. So what I want to do is build a railway that connects this place to the enchanting room over there and to the barn. So I don't have to swim across this river every time. I think I'll start by destroying these fences, destroying these fences, and I'll extend this platform out this way. One more log right here. There we go. Okay, now I need to build some fences. I have five fences. One, two, three, four, five. But I will need more. I want this place to be kind of like a train station. I got more fences. I'll place them here and here. Okay, so the first rail I'm going to build is the rail that goes from here to the enchanting room. I'll destroy this log. Oh, it fell down there. And I'm going to start building this way using wood. Maybe one more. All right, now I'm going to start building this way. So it's going to turn this way. And I'll build some support beams down there in the future. I'm going to jump down there. Jump. Let's head over to the enchanting room. I'm destroying a bunch of this bamboo because this bamboo is so tall that it actually might block my railway over there. So much bamboo, so much bamboo, wow. Now I'm going to start on this side and build towards where I left off over there. Okay, we're going to need to go a little bit higher. Let's go up one and we'll continue. Let's go up one and we'll continue. Aw, oh, oops. All right, and let's go up one and let's continue. Oh no, more rain? It seems like it's raining all the time. And there we go, we've connected them. And I'll destroy this little area with my ax. Break, break, break. There we go. Awesome. 
And now it's time to go to sleep because it's always raining. I'm also going to need some buttons. So I'll build some buttons, uh, maybe like five of them. Okay, and the rest of the gold is finished smelting. So I'll take that and let's build some more powered rails out of it. Powered rails. All right, I'm up to 45 powered rails. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay, ooh. I don't really like the way that it looks. Hopefully it'll look better once I've added the support beams because right now it's just floating. I'll place two logs here, two logs, and I will remove the bark like that. Here I'll place powered rails, maybe one, two, three, four, five, maybe five powered rails. And I'll take my button and place it here. Now when I press this button, it should activate the powered rails. Yeah. Do you see it lit up red? Okay, so I have five powered rails. Now let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten normal rails. And now five more powered rails. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that will be enough power. Here, I'll place another piece of wood and a redstone torch to power the rails. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Redstone torch. Here, because it's going uphill, I'm putting some powered rails before it goes up. So I'll put powered rails here. I'll put powered rails here and here and torch. All right, the railway is complete. And I built the same thing over here as I did over there. So let's build a mine cart. One, two, three, four, five iron makes a mine cart. All right, let's test out my rail. Let's place it, get in, and let's press the button. Whee! Here we go. It's working. Okay, instead of five powered rails here, I'm going to make it only three. So I'm going to remove two of these and replace them with standard rails. Same thing over here. I'll remove two and replace them with normal rails. All right, awesome. So I've built a railway that connects my house to the enchanting room over there. Off camera, I'll continue building this railway. I'll connect the enchanting room to the barn and maybe the barn to my house. Maybe I'll build another rail on this side, but that's all for this video. I'm going to end this video right here. If you liked this video, you could leave me a like or hit the subscribe button. And if you want to help support this channel, you could make a donation on my coffee page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Taller and taller.